Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. And I want to give a shout out to my first 500 subscribers. You guys are freaking amazing. I couldn't ask for anything more. Um, you're here because you like the short, quick to the point videos. So, hey, let's get started. So this is what I like to call my ultra hybrid setup. You can use this for traveling. You can use this for at home productivity. You can use it for work. And with one of these items in this list, I could potentially save you thousands of dollars. First thing I like to talk about, MacBook. This MacBook right here is the 2019 Intel MacBook Pro 16 inch. And yeah, because it's Intel, it does get hot um, at times, but the battery life has been okay. Um, and because of that, I recommend the new model uh, MacBooks, the M chips. If you can get an M chip for a decent, decent price, then that's something that I would get. Um, on this MacBook, I have the Moft um, stand and it's really helpful because it helps with the ergonomics of how it adjusts to my wrist as I'm typing. So it gives it a little bit of wedge uh, with an angle so that I'm able to type a little bit more comfortably. I do recommend the 16 inch because the 16 inch gives you a lot more real estate, simple as that. And it's just a little bit bigger than the 14 inches. Second thing, and I'm using it right now, it's just um, of my choice is an iPad Pro and uh, you guys don't have to get an iPad Pro. It can be any kind of iPad. I've been going back and forth between do I need an iPad mini or do I need an iPad Pro? Um, but nevertheless, I personally do need an iPad because um, there are some aviation applications on here that are only run on the iPad Pro that I need in particular. The case that I have on here, I'll have a link in the description of where I got this from, but it's the uh, Pataka um mag folio case i believe anyway i'll write it in i'll write it in the description but i like it because i primarily use my ipad in landscape mode it's really nice because it works side by side with your uh, macbook and um, i'll do a little bit of b-roll so you can see what that looks like as well next item is once again my phone the phone of choice that i have is the iphone 15 pro max uh, variant and oh i haven't taken that case off in a long time it actually feels good in the hand but unfortunately i have to keep it in a case so um, this phone has been my companion and my uh, personal assistant pretty much my uh, pocket computer i picked the 15 pro max because of its battery life and the uh, cameras that it has on it it takes really good quality uh photos and uh, consistent videos i live on a philosophy of you know if you're working a lot or if you're super hyper productive and you're always constantly working you need to relax and you need to have some time for yourself and that's where the rlg ally comes into play um no pun intended but the RLG Ally has become a part of my daily carry. Um, I don't take this everywhere I go, but whenever I get in the car, it is in my car because that is um, somewhere where I could leave it. Uh, for instance, if I'm going to a coffee shop and I'm going to well, going with the intent of being productive, I would take this uh, gaming device with me, but I would leave the gaming device in the car and take all my productive um, equipment inside the coffee shop with me. Whenever I need a break, I would set a timer um, and go in the car and just play on the game for maybe 10, 20 minutes or so. It's just a good way to clear your mind. Aside from that, there are other times where I do use the um, RLG Ally and that is when I'm, you know, before bed or something like that, I might play a couple, couple games here and there of Call of Duty, um, which leads me to why I returned my Steam Deck because I'm not able to play uh, Call of Duty. Yeah, but if I could play Call of Duty on Steam Deck, the Steam Deck would be the one that I would go with for the better battery life. Nevertheless, in place of their RLG Ally, if you are not a gamer yourself, um, it is important to have that something that takes your mind off of work and, and after you're done with it, you can resubmerge back into your productivity. So for me, that answer is a handheld gaming, gaming device. And there's a camera that I use, and that camera is a new uh, development into my uh, ecosystem. And that is what you're seeing me film on right now, and that is the um, Osmo Pocket 3. I like to call it the OP3. So it's uh, really sunny out today, um, blue skies. 
it's not really a lot of wind but uh it's kind of picking up a little bit but uh i think this is like perfect weather right now to demonstrate what the dji op3 is gonna give you uh, right now i'm uh, video recording at 4k 60 frames per second with um, 10 bit normal color and all i did was just turn down the um, sharpness a little bit i turned it down to negative two and uh, turned the noise put the noise reduction on uh, zero so this is what you can expect when you're coming out here in an environment like this this camera to me uh, it fits everything that i need um, it does everything that i need it to do it's not the most crystal clear clarity um, camera with the thousand dollar lens and everything like that i don't feel like i need all of that um, the only things that i use for photography and videography are now the osmo pocket 3 op3 and my uh, iphone 15 pro max primarily for shooting everything i do it on the op3 now here's a big money saving tip and i recommend this for everybody guys girls you need to do this I have saved thousands of dollars by using my own hair clippers. Um, I've saved $20 plus per week by cutting my own hair. So I know there's a lot of pretty guys and a lot of pretty girls out there that you guys want your hair done and you want to be pampered, but trust me, this will definitely help you. It saves you time. It saves you tons of money. Um, over the years, I've saved thousands, like I said, and this could potentially save you thousands by just cutting your own hair. And don't start staring at my hair because I know it's not perfect, but I still look good. I charge all of this stuff up by using power brick that is 87 watts. Um, it's a little on the heftier side. There are better ones out there now. This has been really helpful for me at any hotel that I go to. Um, all I use is these three ports right here where I charge my computer, I charge my, um, I charge my Apple Watch, and I charge uh, another um, USB-C device like my phone or anything like that. And it all charges it up relatively quickly. So like I said, there are more powerful ones out there now that are relatively cheap. Um, so I advise you to check them out. I'm gonna leave a couple links down there so you guys can see what is comparable to what I have right here. So yeah, that's all I've got for you in this video. Make sure you go watch the EDC video that I created and incorporate all those items with the items you see in this video and you're gonna have the ultimate setup. Again, thank you guys so much for all the reception that I've been getting. Over 500 freaking subscribers is absolutely mind blowing to me. I'll see you in the next one.